you've been very bullish on autonomy, yes. uh, vehicle autonomy of ETF all around it, mm -hmm. robotics and the like. We know you're aware about Kathy Wood's unconventional approaches that have captured the imagination of many, making her an emblematic figure among retail investors who coined the endearing moniker, Kathy Bay. A trailblazer in an industry dominated by men in old school thinking, Wood's career trajectory is nothing short of remarkable, defying conventional wisdom and, at times, the very laws of financial gravity. Today, too, we have something similar. Without much ado, let's get started. In the center of the story, there's a bold statement, a declaration that something worse than just a recession is approaching. Her different point of view, shared at a conference in Miami, might seem quite different from what most people believe. After all, her flagship fund, the ARK Innovation ETF, had suffered a humbling decline, shedding nearly half of its value over the previous year. But rather than acknowledge her less than stellar performance, Wood doubled down on her audacious predictions, projecting annualized returns of 50%, a stark contrast to the initial forecast of 15%. While at first glance, her optimism may seem misplaced, a deeper dive reveals her fascinating journey. Kathy Wood, a unique figure in Wall Street Annal, stands as both a female portfolio manager and a maverick who championed the riskiest investments. Her bets on volatile ventures such as the cryptocurrency and Tesla set her apart from the financial establishment. Her audacity is exemplified by her prediction that Bitcoin, a cryptocurrency with more ups and downs than a roller coaster, would soar from a meager 6,000 to a staggering 500,000, a number she later dared to raise to a jaw-dropping 1 million. Whether one views her as a visionary or a wild risk taker, there's no denying that Wood's compelling investment strategies have made her a poster child of the buy the f***ing dip Robin Hood traders. But it's not just her audacious calls. Wood's career inception itself is unconventional. She ventured into the realm of asset management after reportedly clashing with her former employee, with her ex-boss decrying her ability to manage risk and volatility. Yet her start wasn't all divine inspiration. It had a touch of scandalous intrigue. Bill Huang of Archegos Capital Management, whose fund imploded anonymously, provided Wood with crucial seed money. She began Arc Invest, an investment firm offering exchange-traded funds, accessible to everyday investors, a contrast to the exclusivity of hedge funds. What sets Wood apart is her unrelenting belief in the ascent of tech stocks, her mantra that they only move upwards and onwards. Partake in one of her impassioned speeches, and you'll be caught in a clickbait whirlwind of buzzwords. From self-driving cars to cryptocurrencies, genomic cancer cures, AI, streaming, and gaming. In her world, tech stocks are the gift that keeps on giving, a perpetual uptrend, or so it seemed until the storm clouds of uncertainty started to gather. In 2020, it seemed as though her lofty predictions were coming to fruition. Her ARK Innovation Fund achieved a remarkable 157% return during the first year of the pandemic, a stark contrast to the S&P 500's 18%. Her performance earned her accolades, even from CNBC's Jim Cramer, who hailed her as a genius. It was a fairy tale like story until reality rained out upon her, bringing her down to earth. Now her fund finds itself back to where it stood in March 2020, with losses when adjusted for inflation. The glittering success story had turned into a tale of riches to rags. The fall of Woods has come to symbolize the current tech market's downturn and the excesses that led to what many are now calling a pandemic bubble. Her to-the-moon mentality, shared by many amateur investors, may be inadvertently teaching them a crucial lesson. Stocks and cryptocurrencies don't always defy gravity they can plummet. With the pandemic-induced crash of 2020 serving as a mere two-week interruption, a generation of young traders has yet to experience a full-blown market crash. Thanks to Wood, they now have front-row seats to a true bear market spectacle. Critiques have emerged from various corners, including short sellers. Fraser Pairing, the founder of Viceroy Research, renowned for exposing corporate fraud. Pairing, who's short on ARC, doesn't mince his words, labeling Wood as capital depleter arguing that the amount of capital she wiped away from the world contradicts any notion of success. While the benefit of hindsight, those who invested in Wood's fund at the peak in 2020, despite the 75% drop, would have lost less if they put their money into Bitcoin. As Wood's star dimmed, short sellers thrived, making roughly $3.3 billion tracking short activity. Matthew Tuttle, a former wealth manager turned skeptic, felt a sense of deja vu, likening the current market to the tech bubble of 1999. 
He found ARK appealing for precisely the reason that others were wary, its volatility, liking it to a house with termites. In the heart of 2020, stock market plunged when many investors fled in panic. Wood stood resolute, defending her conviction that innovation would ultimately triumph. This unshakable commitment to her strategies created a unique brand of investor evangelism. While other fund managers scrambled to hedge their bets, she confidently declared the truth would set us free. Wood's unwavering resolve and constant media presence established her as a symbol of resilience in the face of adversity. The result? A growing cult following of loyal investors, who hailed her as the messiah of innovation. Her investors, many of whom found her through social media, celebrated every high and defended her during every low. It became more than just investing. It was a cause, a movement to change the financial world as they knew it. These investors had faith that Wood's strategies would ultimately triumph, ushering in an era of investing like no other. Kathy Wood's influence extended beyond her fund's performance. She inspired countless others to follow in her footsteps and create their own portfolios focused on innovation. Her ARK Innovation ETF and the funds under ARK's umbrella served as templates, allowing retail investors to invest in the future they believed in. This democratization of investing became a crucial component of her impact on the market, as everyday investors could now partake in opportunities they might not have considered otherwise. Additionally, her firm's active presence on social media platform and her regular market commentary served as a catalyst for change. Wood's unwavering commitment to her investment strategies created a culture of fervent belief, akin to a financial crusade. Investors rallied behind her, engaging in a market like never before and expanding their financial horizon. It was a new wave of retail investors, brought together by the belief that innovation was the answer to economic challenges. With these loyal followers, Kathy Wood altered the course of market narratives, shifting conversation away from traditional investment doctrines to the possibility of innovation. This prompted others to reevaluate their own investing strategies. Suddenly, innovation was no longer a buzzword. It was the compass guiding countless portfolios towards exponential growth. The impact on the market was palpable. By betting on Tesla and Bitcoin, Wood's funds reached unforeseen heights. At the same time, as Wood championed innovation, she became a contrarian voice challenging the traditional economic dogma. Her predictions that the world was on the brink of deflation rather than inflation due to the impact of technological innovations and the shifting landscape of global markets were a testament to her ability to think outside the box. In a world where central banks were hyper-focused on inflation control, her contrarian stance shook the foundation of monetary policy discussions. Wood's ability to shape the legislative landscape underscores the immense responsibility that comes with financial influence. We can't wait to see what further economy has in store for us next. But that's all for today. Don't forget to like our videos and to subscribe to our channel for the latest news and share it with your fellow enthusiasts and friends.